Hello World application using Aurelia Seed Project. In this lecture, we will learn how to create your first ever Aurelia application using a starter or a seed project from GitHub. The goal is just to show Hello World in your browser using Aurelia. But before we proceed, please ensure that you had already completed setting up your local development environment from our previous section as we're going to use Node.js or Package Manager and Git for this lecture. First, let's open up our Chrome web browser. And then let's go to github slash jsbonso slash aurelia dash start. This is the Aurelia seed project that I prepared, which contains the required files and libraries that we're gonna use for our Hello World Aurelia application. We will clone this project in our computer, and then we're gonna write additional source codes for a simple app. To clone this project, simply copy the project URL from the web browser or alternatively via SSH by going to clone or download button and then copying the clone the SSH URL. All right, so let's just copy this and then open your terminal. And here, let's create a new folder called Aurelia. Go in that folder and then type git clone, then paste the project URL, then just press enter. This command will basically get the files from the GitHub repository and put it in your computer. And success! The Aurelia seed project has been properly cloned. Let's now check the files. Let's clear this out first, and then do a list. And as you can see here, our Aurelia dash start project is now here, which is the same one from the GitHub project repository. And then go to Aurelia dash start. And then do a list command again. Here are the files of our Aurelia seed project. To view this in Finder, just type open dot and press enter. And as you can see here, we have the files and the folders for our project. We have the scripts folder, which contains the Aurelia core modules and our source folder. All right, let's open it in our Visual Studio code. So from here, just type code. And then let's open the project by going to file, open, and then navigate to Aurelia, Aurelia start, and hit enter. Let's maximize this. And then go to source. In case that you see this warning, which says the path TypeScript Live doesn't point to a valid TCS server install, you can just ignore this or just click the close button. The Visual Studio code is just worried that we don't have the node underscore modules folder in our project, which is generated by the node package manager. Our Aurel seed project doesn't have the package adjacent file, which means that it doesn't use the node package manager. And as shown earlier, we already have the required core Aurelia and system files in our scripts folder. Thus, we can still run this project without using npm. So again, you can just ignore this message, including this code warning. For our next step, let's go back to our Chrome web browser. In our RL seed project, scroll down to view the readme file. In this section, we will see how to create our Hello World application using steps. And then later on, we're going to run our application using these commands. You can also see the same readme file in our downloaded project. Just go back to our Visual Studio Code, and then click this, the readme.md file. This one is basically the same with this. All right, let's now create a TypeScript file named app.ts. To do this, just go to your source folder, 
do a right click and then select new file and here just type app.ts and enter then type expert class app and then let's create a variable called message or msg and then let's put some value let's say hello world and that's it this is the message that we're going to show in our web browser so here you can just change it to your name so let's say john bonso or good morning or whatever text that you want but for now let's just stick to hello world and then you save it all right for a second step we're going to create our app.html file so now go to resource folder right click and then new file and type here app.html then here other template all right and then in this html we're gonna call the message variable which is in the app class to show this message in a web browser to do that simply type dollar sign and then curl braces and then the variable name msg and then save it great now we can run our application to run just go back to our readme file and here we just have to run this commands in the terminal basically we're gonna have to install the http server program from node package manager if you're not familiar with http server just go back to your browser and then search for npm http server and then click this and as you can see here this is just a simple server written in node.js if you don't want to use this you can also use apache tomcat jetty or any other http server out there but for now we're going to use this all right let's go back and then let's open our terminal window and then here let's log in as root and then just copy this one and then install http server minus g all right now our server has been installed let's just exit our terminal and then in the readme we simply have to run our http server using this command basically the dash o means that our http server will open our default web browser after starting the server and then the dash c dash one flag basically disables the cache okay so let's copy this open our terminal again and then ensure that you're in the real start project folder just use the pwd command or the present working directory command all right and then just paste this and hit enter and success our hello world rel application is now working properly at this point you can now further customize your application by going back to your visual studio code and then doing some changes in our app.ts or app.html file so for example i want to make the hello world message to be on h1 header so i can just do this let's say h1 and any tag then save this then when you go back to your browser and refresh and the format has been properly changed you can also edit the message by going to app.ts and then you can change to let's say trolls dojo and then save it 
go back to your browser and hit refresh and voila it's changed your RLC project is ready and you can now create full-blown applications using this template.